this is Bridget Danner with Women's Wellness Collaborative and today we are making a fertility smoothie. So before we get started, let's just talk about what is a fertility smoothie. Well, it can actually be a lot of things and we'll show you some various options. It's basically just like a nutrient dense smoothie that you can have for breakfast or a snack or if you just aren't hungry for dinner. So let's talk about what a fertility smoothie is not. So it's not a big icy fruity thing like you'd get at the mall with you know maybe some mystery powders that you got on sale somewhere. So you want it to be pure, pure of ingredients and not too sweet. So it shouldn't just be full of things like strawberries and sweet fruits because it'll be too much for your blood sugar which isn't what we want. So we're going to today put in some great ingredients that would be awesome to boost your fertility. So first let's just do a little ingredient tour here and then we'll blend it up. So today I'm going to use this Mighty Maca Greens, which is a product that I love by our friend Dr. Anna Kabeca. It has greens, powders, and maca, which is an adaptogen that's nice for your hormones and your sex drive. Uh, and then it's got some other antioxidants, which are great for fertility. So I really enjoy this product and we sell it on our website because we totally love it. Um, I've got some pumpkin seeds here that I'm going to use because I'm in the first stage of my cycle and this is beneficial for that. We've got some organic frozen blueberries. We've got a half a banana. Uh, this is an optional ingredient of glutathione powder. Also got some optional vitamin C here. I'm going to use some uh, bee pollen today. It's a nice superfood. And I'm going to use this collagen powder that was a gift to me from this Perfect Supplements company. Um, we're just testing it out for the first time today, but it looks great. And we've got some almond butter, and then here's an optional product of coconut cream. And we're going to have some unsweetened vanilla almond milk and some water. Okay, so let's put in our liquid ingredients first. I'm just going to add some water. You can always add more later. I'm gonna add some almond milk. So I forgot to mention like one of the most important ingredients, so to speak, is you need your blender. And we've got an awesome Nutribullet blender. Works really great, it gets everything nice and ground. And this is a smaller size cup, but there's a bigger one too, and you can just kind of make your personal smoothie. And we're gonna put in some of this Mighty Maca powder that we talked about earlier. And then we'll put in our blueberries. So just like a quarter cup or a half a cup is probably enough. And I'm putting in just half a banana because bananas are really a starchy carb, pretty high in carbs, so we don't need a lot. You can always just skip it. Um, if it seems too sweet for you or you're watching your blood sugar, you don't have to put in a banana. I'm putting in some of this glutathione powder that's like a master antioxidant and it's really helpful for egg quality and detox. Again, that's kind of an optional ingredient if you can't get your hands on that. And I'm putting in some of the pumpkin seed that we talked about earlier. Just maybe like two tablespoons and you're getting some fiber, some nice minerals here. So that's a really nice one. It helps you uh, build your estrogen, not in an unhealthy way. And then we'll do some almond butter. It gives it a nice like taste and some extra protein and fat. We can be really generous with the fat in our smoothie. And another source of fat is coconut cream that you could optionally do. I'm going to put in this collagen powder that we talked about earlier. This is a really nice protein source. Good for your gut too. And I'm going to do a little bee pollen. Bee pollen is just a nice superfood with lots of natural source of vitamins. Put in a little more than I needed. Um, you could optionally do some chia seed too, so it's a nice other source of fiber and fat and protein and micronutrients so it's all really great options and then we just get on our little top here and blend it up all right I think that's enough blending it goes pretty quick 
So yeah, some of the benefits of this smoothie are its antioxidant from the blueberry and some things in these mighty maca and probably some things in this bee pollen too. We're getting plenty of protein, which is an important building block for our cells when we're trying to get pregnant. We've got fats that help us make our hormones. So we've got fiber to help clear old hormones. We've got tons of micronutrients in here. It's alkalizing from the greens. So this is really an amazing breakfast. You know, I went kind of slowly talking about everything, but it doesn't take that long to put together, just pulling everything out of the fridge. So I get the question, well, can I make it the night before? Not really. I wouldn't really let it sit overnight. But there are ways to make it faster, like mixing different powders together to go faster or putting in everything together in the same area of your fridge. So hope that helps. Enjoy. Hungry? You just like the taste? I'm a little hungry and I really like it. We've got other recipe videos here on our Women's Wellness TV channel. We've got a chia pudding you can have for breakfast as well and some other fun ones. So we'd love for you to check those out and to subscribe because we've got more videos to come.